Hey everyone, this is Tracy, and I have come to confess that I have a problem. I like to collect diffusers, as you can see. I don't have them all yet, I'm still working on it. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the differences among all of the diffusers that we have at Young Living. And I hope that y'all can see the mist. But let me try breathing it in. Mmm, it smells so good. I have peppermint and rosemary diffusing in most of them and then um, treasure of the season in a couple of them so it's kind of cinnamony. <clears throat> so this diffuser right here was my first one. It came with my kit. It's the old home diffuser and it's still going strong. Three years. Pretty good. You keep up with it, keep it clean and keep the little metal plate on the bottom clean and the tops clean and they do pretty good for a while. Um, so this diffuser, if there was, um, if it was darker in here, you'd see that the, it kind of glows at the top. Um, it has no way to turn the light off and it's a continuous diffuser, just diffuses continuously. And then they came out with the Rose Home Diffuser. So we call this one the Tulip. This one is the Rose. And most of them that they're sending out now are purple. This one is the pink one. It was one of the first ones that came out. Um, this one puts off a really good mist, as you can see, and it has, if you hold the button in, it, the light will shut off. And then also, if you hit it one time, start it up. If you hit it, hit the um, button one time after it's on, then it goes into con uh, intermittent mode where it diffuses for 30 seconds on and then it's off for 30 seconds. So this one is the next one that they came out with our dewdrop diffuser that is now the um, diffuser that comes with the premium starter kit that replaced this one. So this one has a nice cool blue glow to it but you can also turn the light off on it if you hold the button in for just a few seconds and then let it go it turns the light off but it does not have the intermittent mode like the home diffuser does. I mean the rose. And then we have our rainstone diffuser. This one is really cool. It was my favorite diffuser for a while. It got replaced though, but I still use it every day in my room. This one comes with a remote control and the very top button you have the on off switch and then you can set it for one hour, two hours, three hours, or six hours. So it stays on for up to six hours. And you can also, it has a little ionizer, which is the little light in the front. I don't know if you can see it, it's right here. You can turn that on or off. And then it has lights, um, LED lights right now, it's green. And so you can change the lights. So that's yellow, there's purple. And then you can turn them off all completely. So if you don't want any light while your diffuser's on, you can turn it off. And then next we have our bamboo diffuser. This one has two controls and it comes on the cord. It's one hour or four hours or off. And what I learned about the bamboo diffuser is that it seems to want to, a little bit of minerals in the water. So if you are using filtered water in it, which is what I use on all of my diffusers, um, if you add just a tiny pinch of Himalayan pink salt or sea salt to it, it helps um, produce a better mist. And another thing I learned about it is if you have power outages, you wanna make sure it's set to off because if the power goes out and um, you've been running your diffuser and you know for four hours and then it went off and you just leave it, it's the little switch is still at the four hour um, spot. If you have a power outage um, and it goes, your power goes off and then it comes back on, your diffuser will come on and it doesn't have water in it. Probably won't have water in it and that could be a problem. So when you're done with this one, you wanna make sure you turn it off or unplug it. And here we have my new favorite diffuser. And I bought this one specifically for this office. And I've had a really hard time leaving it in the office because I want it at home. So I'm gonna have to get another one. This one is beautiful. I love this diffuser. So we have the power on off 
button. It has a one hour, two hour, three hour setting, so it will run up to three hours. And then it plays music, so let's see if you can, if I can get the volume up high enough that you can actually hear it. So it does these little bells and zen-like, really soft, um, relaxing music. But you can also, it comes with a little plug, you can also plug in an iPod or your tablet or your phone. And now you're too loud. So, it, so you can play whatever music you want to through it. It's really cool. It also has lights, which is probably hard to see in here, but you can change the lights and then turn them off as well. This diffuser also does not like to sit on anything that's cloth because it pulls the air up through the bottom. So that's why I have it sitting on this paper here. Um, when it was sitting on the sheet, there was no um, mist coming out. So I set it on um, something so it could breathe. And then you can also move this around so you can make it go whichever way you want it to. And here we have the Aromalux diffuser. This diffuser uses no water. So it uses a lot of oil, but it's really concentrated. If you're in a, an acute situation where you want just pure oil, no water, then this is this diffuser or the Therapro is the one to go with. And the um, bottle just attaches to the bottom of this little part right here. And it comes with several of these. It comes with short ones and then the long, short ones for the five milliliter bottles and then long ones for the 15. And so you put your bottle in there. You can blend oils in there if you wanted to put, I have peppermint, but if you wanted, you know, several different thieves or whatever in there, you can put whatever you want. And then it has the controls on the back. It has several different timers. You can control how long it goes on, how long it's off, and the flow that comes out. And you can also change the lights on the front or turn it off completely. So here we have it going full throttle. Peppermint oil. It's kind of noisy, but it does the trick. And here we have the, um, oh, doesn't like to be touched, the orb diffuser. And it has two settings. This is the intermittent setting, as you can see. It goes on and off. And then <clears throat> that's the continuous setting. So this one has water at the base and it has a little um, wick on the inside that you actually put the oil on. You soak it in water and then you put the oil on the wick. It has a little holder on the inside and it plugs into a USB port. <clears throat> so I actually have, you can get one of these little charger um, things for your, or adapter for your USB. You can plug it directly into the wall or plug it into a computer or something like that that has a USB port. Speaking of USB, we also have these little bitty USB thumb drive looking ones and it has three settings. It's um, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. So it poofs, has a little, does a little poof poof, and then waits 10 seconds, and then another little poof, 10, 30, or 60 seconds. And uh, so the oil goes in the back, has a little thing that comes off the back. So those are some of our diffusers. Now, these, the Dewdrop, Rainstone, Bamboo, and Aria, are the four diffusers that you have that you can choose from for the premium starter kits. It's Tulip Home Diffuser, the Rose Home Diffuser, the Dewdrop, the Rainstone. See if I can get some color to show up on there. It kind of starts at the bottom, goes all the way up to the top. This one's green, yellow. It's really hard to see on camera. Purple, none. And there's the ionizer. So you can turn that off.
bamboo diffuser has a little light at the bottom. Aria. It's my pretty Aria. You can change the lights on this one. playing some music. Time for a spa date. And then the orb. 